All right, here's a crazy quarantine project. Shipping this thing out here, one of the chimes broke off of it. Tried to fix it, but it just didn't sound right. I had to send it out to somebody. I took this thing apart months and months ago, so I'm not sure if I'm going to remember how to put it all back together exactly. I sent the chimes out uh, to a place in Frankenmuth, Michigan, and uh, he sent all the information into the factory at, at uh, Howard Miller, and they sent him out something for eight different chimes. So I had to send it back to him. I just sent him the old broken one and he actually repaired it and he tuned it. He sent me this back. Same box back and forth from Frankenmuth. Little box is got some miles on it now. I called the Monterey Health Department this morning just to check on if they had heard any word about when I could open the business again. She said it was okay with her, but I keep threatening to take my license away, and I don't want to, you know, by the state and then the massage board. So I don't want to get in trouble. So, so no word, I guess. I hear seven other states opened yesterday. California still doesn't want to open. So. I don't want to lose my license. I'm living on my savings for since March. And kind of nerve wracking. Let's see. Like I said these are the old times. Fixed it. I want to break it again. We had some friends over for dinner, so I put it back together, kind of, but obviously it doesn't have hands on it, so maybe it's not a working clock. It wasn't fooling anybody, but. Stuff on the outside. Boy, that looks nice. That's good. It's got a pack of foam pieces around it, plus all the bubble wrap to protect it. Oh, it looks fantastic. This is the one here that was just broken off. Shorter one. I hope that sounds good. Yeah, we had some company coming over, so I kind of put it back together. Get that glass out of there. Now this mechanism will move the moon around. delicate little thing there so we got to carefully get that out of there without turning that big old gear that's back behind it. We're hitting on something right now. pressure on anything. Oh yeah, it's hung up on that one here. See I had to take that piece off in order to get to a screw that was back behind it. So I have to get those little tiny screws in there put back after we get that all put back together.
And as you can see, there's so many little tiny screws that I took apart so many months ago. I have to be a little creative and see if we can work backwards. I should have taken a picture of it as I was taking it apart. That's what the mechanics do nowadays, huh? Well, I went up to Reading last week and I saw my eldest daughter, my third child, Morgan, her, her two sons, my grandsons over there. It was nice to get the heck out of town for a little bit. Inside of there and see what the heck I'm dealing with first. That block clearly gets bolted to there. Yeah, I went up to uh, Reading and walked along the Sacramento River. That was really nice. Uh, took a long walk down around there. And beautiful nature trails. and You could really see where the forest fires had been before. There was, on the other side of the ridge, on the other side of the river, was, there was so much burned out stuff there from a previous fire. And uh, not quite as smoky up there as it is here. Maybe the smoke's a little higher up there, I don't know. It didn't seem, seem, seem to be so bad, but it was up in the 90s. So nice to get up into the heat for a while. It was uh, Missouri, four, uh, my four-year-old grandson. He's uh, four-year-old, uh, went up for that birthday party. Um, birthday party was just me, so call that a party nowadays, huh? So I went there for the week and got some presents and did the cake thing. That was kind of cool. But safe and protected. So. We got to be nowadays. Sure, it was nice to see him, though. You know, being in quarantine and we'll fly back to Michigan in uh, about a week or so and spend a week there and see if I can. Uh, I want to build a uh, pirate ship, a playhouse for the grandsons over there. So, I don't know if I have enough time, but at least I can draw some plans and show them what to do. My son's Joel and Troy can they can handle that. As long as I put a material list and show them how to put it together, they can be pretty smart. They can do that. things to find. One piece at a time. See, I had to take the face off of the thing. These are the chimes that hang inside of it. But they're bolted through the front. So, that's why we had to do that.
right, the new chimes are in. Now the nightmare begins. Trying to find out where these 500 million little screws and bolts went. Alright, so far so good though. We got everything put together. Now it's just part of the mechanism and the face and putting all that back together. We got these two doohickey. Find out where those suckers go. That must have been. Oh, yeah, I know where that goes. Okay. That's all the bolts that, uh, see I had a pile of bolts here, I didn't know what the heck they were for. When I first started I was trying to take the cabinet itself apart from the back, which I didn't really need to do. I should have put those bolts back when I realized that I didn't, didn't need to do all that. So we got all the cabinet bolts, all the wood screws back in from the back. Clock is ticking. It's working. So next we have to get the face back on. And the goofy part about this is there's a little gear system that rides where the moon is set. So where is the moon? About there, I think. delicate parts and pieces and screws and I think I know where everything goes except for that one. Well, there's one I don't know where that is. And we'll find that. We go there, but we've got to get it to up inside. Get that gear over. Not bending it. Bring that little hammer back so we don't bend it. Suckers, that wouldn't make sense, would it? Oh, my hands are too big for this kind of work. I'm gonna have to go to my toolbox and find the little tiny screwdrivers. So little.
Okay, I've got the little screwdrivers and the little tiny screwdrivers. I guess I need those. I think these will work with this. My big old monkey fingers can work these little screws. This is a grandfather's clock, and uh, it was my grandfather's clock. But it's not like an antique. Once he got into his uh, mid-80s or so, he, he moved into Porter Hills and Grand Rapids and they have kind of a four-phase type of thing, so he had a type of uh, uh, little housing unit there and I know they came in and furnished it for him. So they set this up for him. He had it for about a year or two before he got moved into another phase where he needed a little more help living. Um, it was his clock. He probably walked by it a few times, never even saw it, but since it was here, he was a super cool guy, so I want to keep it, keep it running. If it was super antique, I never would have done this. I would have taken it to a professional, but it's pretty simple. It's, you know, so we'll see. Hopefully, we'll keep our fingers crossed. My biggest worry is dropping these little screws. So tiny I can hold, I barely hold on to them. You don't see very well anymore, so I drop it, I'm going to be searching. So far, so good. Everything's so delicate. I'm not breaking anything. Hold that up. Push that in. Oh. This is what happens when you make me do projects at home and start tearing things apart that I should never put my hands into. Have confidence. Brand new again. This one. This one's a mystery. to do some surgery. I hate to put things together and then have to tear them all back apart again because I made a stupid mistake. But this is definitely a wood screw. I don't see it going anywhere. Hear that? Oh, perfect. 
I still have the foam barrier on it, so it's not ringing out loud. I don't want it to move independently until I get it put it back. Until I put it back where it goes. They're all tuned. In. It was nice to hear it go through its whole chime. Good. That's what I wanted. Perfect. I know these four screws, they hold this on, so let's put that. These three are even smaller than the last four we put in. These are just absolutely microscopic. Okay, not microscopic. Close to it. The key is not to lose it. Clearly we had to take this and drop it down in order to get to the bolts that are behind it. That was kind of a nightmare to try to figure that out. Which is a pain because you had to take all the hands off of the clock. Everything so delicate on the face that I really didn't want to mess with that. I was trying to get to it from the cabinet. To no avail. pieces. This little piece fell off. That's some glue on it. I've got the piece. I'll have to glue that back on. cover up all of the screws. Okay, that's all the wood screws and bolts we have. The clock's ticking really fast because it doesn't have the we'll get this sucker hooked back up. Oh, it's very dirty. Gotta go through and clean everything.
hands on it. Probably have some kind of groove on it. Oh yeah. There it is. That's it. A couple parts I need to figure out what to do. I don't remember where those two pieces went. Put that out. From what I can tell, everything should be in working order. Well, they're just stabilizer pieces. Let's take the foam off. Get the pendulum swinging again. Sucker hasn't swung in a long time. what we're trying to do. Alright. I get on YouTube and find out what these little two stabilizers went to because I just for the life of me don't remember where I pulled those out of. So I'm back. Alright guys I called Greg over at the Frank and Muth Clock Company. Um, he's the one that redid all the chimes and it sounds sounds fantastic. There was a couple pieces missing and he identified them. Those were like stabilizer pieces that hold the clock mechanism back in there. And uh, it's been about five months, I think I said, you know, since I took it apart. So only two pieces I couldn't find, so that wasn't too bad. Got it all back together now. Everything seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, for some reason, the, the, the center weight seems to be dropping a little bit faster when I have the chimes off. I don't know if that's supposed to do that or not. I don't remember. I think I always had the chimes on when the kids were little, so I don't exactly remember. cleaning on this thing this weekend. I gotta cl uh, clean out the glass inside and out, all the woodwork and all that. Just haven't really even paid any attention to it for so long. So we'll get that baby shining up again and thanks for watching man. Alright, I'll see you soon.